The complete web developer in 2019, Zero to Mastery, is blowing up in popularity on Udemy. The title is ambitious, the material is expansive, and the instructor promises real-world skills that will majorly help you get a job by the end of the course. But with the ever-expanding $10 Zero to Hero Udemy bootcamps, is this one worth your time and money? Somebody pass me my certificate of near completion. I spent a lot of time with this one, guys. The video starts right now. <laughs> Real Tough Candy from RealToughCandy.com, back in business with you guys today, checking out the Complete Web Developer in 2019 Zero to Mastery course by Andre Negoy. Now, this is a relative newcomer. I think it came out last year. It's been updated in April 2019, so this month, the guy is on top of his updates, so that's always a good sign. But this course is one in an ever-growing list of those that fall into the Complete Web Developer Bootcamp type courses. What am I talking about? Well, we have the flagship course here, which is one of the best-selling courses, if not the best-selling course on Udemy, the Web Developer Bootcamp by the one and only Colt Steel. That has over 400,000 students enrolled right now. But then we also have the one by Rob Percival. We also have the one by Angela Yu. The point being, this concept is not unique. However, a lot of the material in this course is. So this is 32 hours and 32 minutes, 300 lectures, and starts with what you would expect for a complete web developer bootcamp type course, HTML and CSS. That's a good sign. Then going down to JavaScript after all this extra CSS stuff, DOM manipulation, no surprise there, developer environment, getting that set up, getting GitHub and PM. And then we have an interesting addition to this course with React. I'm going to talk about why this is unique in just a minute here, but let's keep going through. Backend basics, APIs, we got some Node and Express JS action here, plus a final project, some databases all the way down here, and then some extras. There's like an Ask Me Anything type video, coupons, and all this other stuff for Windows users. Those of you who follow me and know me know that I am a stickler for learning PHP just because it opens up so many opportunities. WordPress runs on PHP, and that is 30% of the web, guys, just WordPress. PHP is conspicuously absent in this course. Um, so complete web developer, eh, maybe it's just a matter of semantics, but I got to have PHP in my book to be complete, complete. Now, if we go over to Rob Percival's course, oh, this is the Colt, Colt Steel course, another guy who does not cover PHP, but Rob Percival is the only guy of these four massive bootcamp courses that does attempt to make it complete, complete, because he not only goes over PHP, but also JavaScript and also Python. That's not something you really see in these complete developer bootcamp type courses. Angela Yu also sticks to a JavaScript environment, but going back to the Andre Nagoy course, here's what stood out to me immediately. In the introduction, he made a point that his course was designed for real world development, getting you a job, getting you those skills that employers actually want. I, it's been a while since I've done the Colt Steel Bootcamp, but I don't recall him emphasizing job-ready skills as much as Andre. Andre even started his own Discord server, which I'm sure if you looked around, you could find Discord servers for all these people, but they're probably tributes if I had to guess. No, that's just me guessing. But this is the only guy I've seen who said, hey, this is like a complete immersive course. We're going to give you the support. Hop onto the Discord. I'm going to be there. He said somewhere on here, maybe the me anything part um, but he does go to the discord quite often and connect with students and help them in any way he can and that was that really stood out to me because for $12.99 or $9.99 or whatever price you're paying for it it's always going to be the price of lunch somewhere in America that kind of support is really unheard of with different platforms and different courses so before we go any further somebody asked me the other day RTC do you actually take these courses or are you just skimming through them I take the majority of them. As you can see, I completed 85% of this. Now, I do not do the projects. I don't do the code alongs. I don't, I don't log on to the Discord. I focus on assessing the video material and what is being said and what is being shown 
in the videos. But I did want to share that just so you guys know that I do invest a lot of my time in these Udemy courses and other platforms just so I can have a bigger and better perspective when I'm talking about these things. Going back to the actual course, 306 lectures. Comparing to the rest of them, they're about 30 and 40 hours. This one's 32, like I said. Colt Steele's is 47. Um, some of these instructors have legacy material on here too, so that adds to the total runtime. It doesn't look like he does though. This was also recently updated, so that's a great sign. And I saw you updated with Bootstrap 4, that's good. Rob Percival updated January 2019, 30 hours, 308 lectures. And then Angela Yu, 43 hours and 364. Not too much deviation and nothing too drastic with these numbers right here. Let's go check out what a style and delivery is like. Let's go to something straightforward. We'll go to JavaScript variables. This is video 104. Welcome back. Up to this point, we've played around with some JavaScript types. Only three out of seven. Don't worry, we'll get to the rest of them. But there's one problem. How does a program remember things? doesn't rush through the material. In the music industry, we have this term called stage presence. I think Andre has a really good stage presence. It doesn't sound like he's reading off a teleprompter, and that's always good because when you spend 30 hours with someone, you don't want them sounding like a robot or sounding detached or sounding like they're just thinking about something else the whole course. When he talks and codes and does these lectures, you can tell, or at least he gives the impression, that his mind is in the game and he's very present with what he's doing. That's important when you're taking a 30-hour course whether it's the straightforward stuff or the more complicated stuff, he doesn't rush through it. He's not a speed talker. He's not an auctioneer. And if you do want the auctioneer experience, you can simply come down here and speed this up to 2x. Going back to the course content, like I said earlier in the video, uh, React, JS, and Redux, this is notable because in the other bootcamp courses, these other three, the Cold Steel, the Rob Percival, and the Angela Yu, None of these instructors address front-end frameworks or libraries, with the exception of jQuery. Now, I would argue in 2019 that the beginning web developer does need to know a framework. You have to be competitive, and one way of doing that, a great way of doing that, is by learning a framework or library like React. There's also Vue, Angular, many other choices. But Andres is the only one of these four that does address a framework. Now, of course, you can go out and buy a course or or read documentation, however you prefer to learn and get this down. But it is nice having this integrated into a bootcamp style course, a complete web developer course. Because honestly, if you don't know a framework in 2019, you are incomplete as far as your skills go, in my opinion. But four and a half hours of React and Redux integrated into this web developer course, a great feature if you're thinking about taking this thing. Some neat projects too. There's a machine learning project called SmartBrain. I haven't really seen that angle taken with these courses with machine learning. So the SmartBrain project is a front end and back end project, three hours plus dedicated to getting that set up and getting that working. So that is really cool. And there's many assignments, interactive activities and all that good stuff scattered throughout this thing. No doubt a lot of this material is the same stuff these other instructors talk about. I think one of the biggest draws of this course is the fact that it is focused on actionable things you can start doing to boost your career. I think he did a really good job maximizing the offerings and resources for people to build a community, to look over people's code, to have peer code reviews, all that stuff. After going through the majority of this course, I'm going to give it a five out of a five. I think it's a must have. The React and machine learning integrations are great. The vocal delivery is great. The career focus is fantastic. Just a solid course and updated just a few days ago. So he's on his game. I recently read on his Twitter that he's doing this full time now. So he can dedicate most or all of his working hours to this kind of stuff. And that's great news for students because this stuff changes so very quickly and it's important to keep updated with that. My biggest beef with this course is that it doesn't include PHP. It's such an important and rewarding skill in 2019 and beyond. But no doubt you can still become a web developer just learning JavaScript because JavaScript is everywhere. One final note and a shameless self-promotion. He has a chapter on career of a web developer, which is 37 minutes. He does touch upon the basics of things like LinkedIn. What if you don't have enough experience? Notes on your resume. If you're trying to take that a step further, check out my course, How to Get a Job in Web Development. Great reviews. Thank you guys so much for that. But anyways, if you really want to supercharge your chances for success after taking this course, check out How to Get a Job in Web Development. I don't waste your time. I know it's valuable. Mine is too. We get right to the important stuff. So 
that's what I have to say on that. Again, highly recommend this course. Great freaking course. Thank you, Andre, for your mindful productions. Thanks, guys, for watching. Hope this review was helpful. Let me know what you think. Lots of people have taken this one. A lot of people have suggested I review this one. So let me know what I'm missing or what you particularly liked about this course or didn't like. I always love hearing what you guys have to say about things. Come for the videos. Stay for the comment section. I have one of the best on YouTube. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day and I'll see you in the next video.